Let's start here. These are uh, coconut prawns. In here I've got the, um, the freshwater prawns. These are frozen, defrosted. I quite like them. Point them out to Raymond because he always thinks prawns are pink. Is he? Mm. Well, they, they would be if I put them in there. I just find prawns are odd when they're not pink. Right. <laughs> OK. But these are freshwater prawns. Yeah. And what I've done is butterfly them. It's like this one here. And so how do you do that? Just, just open it up with a knife. OK. Like so. And there it is. And then here I've got a mixture of corn flour. Now, I use corn flour because it stops the, um, the, the actual product you're cooking taking on too much fat because it seals it straight away. Oh, It's a starch, yeah. Oh, OK. So nothing can get in. Egg. And all I've, do, all I've done here, literally, is get one into the bit of corn flour, bit of egg, always have mm. one hand dry, like that, so you don't get... Oh, yeah. you, and then you get like that, you see? Yeah. So all I've done is made a few like that. And then <clears throat> well, um, what you need to do is I shallow fry them in a little bit of oil, like this one here. So in they go. quick, won't they? Oh, they do, thin. yes. Yeah, yeah. And what I've done also, this is part what they call panko breadcrumbs, which are Japanese breadcrumbs, and half toasted coconut, desiccated Ooh, coconut. Nice. So you can just see it in there, see the different colours in there, yeah. but it gives it a really nice toasted flavour. You buy the breadcrumbs done, don't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, God, God. <laughs> Life's too short for that. <laughs> now, there's a, there's a dipping sauce here, and a lot of the Mexican food, you have very, very rich, tasty sauces, mm. and a little amount of it. So what I've got in this one, rather than showing you all the whole lot, mm. here I've got orange juice, sherry vinegar, I love sherry vinegar, that, yeah. that flavour profile, a little bit of chilli, ginger, lime juice and onions. And I've cooked that down in a pan until it becomes this lovely, almost like how, relish. How chilli are we talking? Oh, no, no, a quarter yeah. of a teaspoon of oh, dried okay. chilli, right. not even fresh chilli. Um, <clears throat> so, and then all I'll do is just turn these over. See, these are just cooking nicely now, look at that. What sort of oil? Any, Any oil will do, any oil will do. And I've got some here that we did a bit earlier on, just because purely for the time process. So, all I do, normally you can have your own garnish, so I've got a bit of... Um, avocado, avocado here, yogurt, mm -hmm. But in this one, I'm, what I'm going to do, just put the two or three prawns into here. I'll take three, thanks. Thank you very much. Yes, sir, <laughs> madam, I should say. A little bit of pinch of salt. And then all I do is just dot on just a little bit of the dressing. Not too much. Yeah. This is very, very strong, like so. And you can put your garnishes over there. So oh, thank you very much. There you go. Now, in here, you've got one already for you, Eamon. Yeah. Which is that one, the big old cocktail stick in. It's one that's I'm already been made. So, a bit of avocado, a bit of sour cream. I tend to speak steer too, clear of too much sour cream, because mm -hmm. it just makes it very, very rich in my eyes. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, very, very tasty. Wash your hands. So, you'll see... And there's nothing in the... It's just sour cream. Yep, just yeah. sour cream. Mm. I've got one, thank so you. So just nice, and it's, it's about packing flavour. I think I've put Small too much in here. No, and do you know you eat the big tortillas, like the, the burritos? This is a slightly smaller version. What's that called, that green stuff? Coriander. Cor yes, yeah, lovely, I like now, coriander. Yeah. there's a, a, a pulled chicken bot here. So here I've got the pulled chicken. Mm -hmm. Now this is chicken I've just slow roasted and, and taken off with the two forks like that. Here again, I've got a, a onions with chilli, which you cooked quite hard. Oh, so you've cooked that right yes, down then. Yes, to get that lovely flavour of purple in, in Mexican food. Then I've got a mixture of tomato paste, a paprika, tomatoes and, and stock. Like, again, I've just cooked that really down to a nice, what I call, thick, dry sauce. A bit like a, uh, a biryani, uh, not sorry, biryani, yep. uh, uh, what do they call it? A Bombay potato type book. So this will all be on the website, by the way. All be on the website. And I've just raked off that chicken and you just fold it through the sauce. And that goes into, again, another taco like so. So, again, we have got a bit of red onion. On it goes. People are literally salivating in my ear. A little Ooh. bit of coriander. Ooh. See, another one there, Raymond. I know you've had two already, but you can have that one again. There you okay, go. my friend. Thank okay, you. Mm -hmm. Again, a very, very simple one, but... but but extremely tasty, so you can actually get away with eating less than you would do Listen, just one other thing. Could someone just close the studio doors in case Jack the dog comes back again? <laughs> people look out. Right, finally, we've got, we've got a, a vegetarian version here. So, again, I've roasted uh, or pan-fried onions and garlic very, very quickly. Sweet potatoes, water, a bit of stock cube, and I've just cooked that down, and you end up like this one here. Is the, sorry, is the sweet potato in there? No, no, oh, it right. all goes in. You cook all it right. down, it ends up like this one here. Mm. So you've got a lovely, tasty sweet potato. A lot of people don't like well, sweet see, potatoes. I'm, I'm not a huge oh, Yeah, fan. I didn't think you were. But bear in mind, what you're doing, Ruth, is you're layering it with flavours. So, Eamon, excuse me, I'm going to lean over you. We've got a bit of... Actually, I wouldn't know that was sweet potato if you hadn't told me. No, exactly. That's nice. Now, and the lime juice and things that you can put on yeah. is very nice. So, uh, I've got a little bit of, of refried beans which is classic pinto beans uh, recooked to a mush. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the, of the sweet potato mix. Again, it's quite dry so that it doesn't fall out when you're eating mm. it. Nothing worse than a really, really wet sauce. Here I've got some pickled red onions, which I just pickled in for 20 minutes in vinegar, and uh, any vinegar, a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of coriander, and then a little blob of, of um, 
with sour cream onto there. Now, I've also got these little, these little dishes here, which are fantastic. These are... Well, have you made that? No, no, you buy these now. And it's, it's, if you've got a wet sauce, fantastic, mm. because that almost holds it while you're eating it. So you, it, it's up to you either way. And that one there, I another can... one for you. I mean, I know you're hungry. How there can you, you have a dry sauce? Well, what I meant by that was... <laughs> If you look here, see, if I was to yeah. do that, yeah. it doesn't fall off a spoon. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. So that's what I call a dry sauce. Mm. It's like a compote. Yeah. Mm. It's nice and spooky, that. Now, so. the biggest thing at the moment is sweet tacos. Yeah. Never heard of that. Now, these ones... Oh, <laughs> my love these word. Little beauties. Look at these. Like now, these are ice cream? Yeah, these are the crispy version. <gasps> and so what we've got, they're actually shaped this way oh, anyway. On, hold that. Look, we've got having, vanilla ice cream, go. chopped nuts, Ooh. and look at that, a bit of chocolate. Now that's for you, Eamon. That'd be a lovely option. Hey, in Ruth, a restaurant. I'm going to. It's rock hard. You're going to cut mine into a lady I'm, like... No, well, I'm going to just give you a little bit like that. Well, do you lick or bite? That's easier. the question. Well, it's really up to you. <laughs> it's, like, it's like stuffing your dog. There you go. So there we are. Mm. So it's like a cornetto. It is like a cornetto, no. but no. you need to get the crispy versions. I don't think sometimes if you've got the softer versions, like the flour ones or the corn ones, mm. it tends to work as well because they go quite hard in the freezer. But so you buy? Can I just say? But do you buy the yeah. hard tacos? Yeah, you buy it's hard not tacos. that that you've no. done. No, but, you're, what, but what you can do is fry these, and as they come out the fryer, press them like that, and they'll set like that anyway. But you're adding a lot of, of, of calories to it as well. Oh my god! Oh, it's so <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Of ice cream there, so I wouldn't We've got it, starters, it? main course and yeah. dessert. They're all in one, all tacos. Anything, anything goes. So, you know, mm. as I say, there's tasty little bits that you put together, mm. provided you understand it has got to be power.